fairly new. Yep. And um, of course, there goes the camera. It wouldn't be a video if we didn't have something go off. Another <laughs> yeah. Video. So yeah, that's, that might that might be a good moment though. Yeah. Hey guys, what's going on? Brandon, Steve, welcome to the channel. Uh, today we're taking a look at Jack Daniels 12 year Tennessee whiskey, um, 107 proof. Uh, this is batch one. And uh, yeah, we're uh, actually looking forward to it because um, obviously it's a lot different than your uh, old number seven. Oh yeah. Hey guys, uh, we appreciate your support. Please uh, help us out, hit that subscribe button, ring the bell, hit like share our videos, because uh, our goal is to try to share as many reviews with you guys as, as we can. Yeah, and then uh, check out the Instagram. It's American Whiskey underscore the review. Uh, and also uh, the website, AmericanWhiskeyTheReview.com. Yeah, they're, they're super hard to get. So, uh, you know, we got our hands on it and uh, we're gonna review for you guys just to see what uh, what it's all about. Yeah. Um, all right, do the honors here? Yeah. So, uh, I've heard good things. I don't know about you. I've heard good things, but you know, I've heard good things about many different stuff, and then we get into it, and it's kind of like, eh, yeah, I'm not sure. You know, it's <laughs> you know, I mean, uh, sometimes I think it's because some of this stuff is hard to get. People automatically assume that it's good, and then when they do get their hands on one, that uh, they tend to think highly of it, and that's not necessarily uh, the case. We're just kind of trying to give you guys a uh, honest review if we can about what we uh what we get out of this i'm gonna give you a little bit of a taller pour but that's all right no, that's all right yeah and you know guys as, as you guys know jack daniels it's it's uh 80 percent corn 12 percent barley and eight percent rye so um you know we expect a, a lot of I'm, I'm expecting a lot of ethanol especially since we just popped it open yeah get a lot of that corn up front but uh we'll see let's get in there yeah yeah there it is yeah, I'm getting it. I'm getting it. <laughs> all right off the bat but this, you know, I do get that sweetness though, you know? Yeah, I was gonna say it smells sweet. Um, this actually, actually makes me wanna think about, we're gonna review the 10 year again, just to yeah. kind of compare it to this 12 year and see if there's a, there's a difference. But you know, this 107 proof to me is like that perfect proof right, for right. bourbon. Cause it's not too hot and I it's agree. not light, you know? Yeah. So I'm getting that ethanol on the nose for sure. But um, you know, yeah, like for, that, I mean, for sure the sweetness, sweetness, sweetness uh, is coming through. Like a dark sweetness, almost like right. a molasses. Kind of, kind of. Yeah, it's very different. You know, mm -hmm. like it's so funny. Like when you when you think about like Jack Daniels, and then you know they've started doing these limited releases. You know, the yeah. ten year and the twelve year. Yeah. And it's just so different. So different. You know. Yeah, and you know this guy's is as you guys might or might not know. This is, you know, this is the Tennessee bourbon. It meets all the qualifications right. of a bourbon. And there's been debate whether it's bourbon or it's whiskey. It's technically meets all the definition. They do run this over some coals uh, to filter it, and they do that to get the oils out of the corn and whatnot uh, before it goes into the barrels. But they're not adding anything to it, so there's no additives. Uh, it's any, if anything, it's a reduction. Um, so it's technically a bourbon. It meets everything that a bourbon qualifies right. for, and they just call this the Lynchburg County process, which right. is running over a vat of 10 feet of um, you know coal and, and basically letting it drip out, and then they take that distillate and then... They, they they put it in barrels, but you know to me it's it's bourbon. Yeah. I don't, yeah. You know, they call it whiskey, but and I think it's, it's marketing. Yeah. To be honest with you. Well, like I said, it's worked pretty well. Yeah. It's so. Oldest <laughs> registered distillery, doing something right. Well, that's tasty. Mm-hmm. You're definitely getting the ethanol, getting the, getting the. In the corn. Yeah. And it's the. Like I said, I, it's it's a nice. I like oh, the proof. Sweet. I like the heat. You know that, that finish is nice. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm getting? I'm getting on the palate. I'm getting like uh, dried fruit, like almost like raisins. I'm getting raisins for some reason. Yeah, like dark fruits. Like a dark fruit, yeah. Yeah. But I'm definitely getting. Unlike the ten year. Again, we're gonna talk about the ten year in a minute. Yeah. 
I'm getting the oak on this one mm -hmm. because of the age. So it's clearly been in you know a barrel for 12 years. So I'm getting the, the the oak, but it's not overwhelming. Right. It's not like those tannins that just you know are, are put off if if, if you, yeah. know, you start getting into the older age bourbons. But man, this one's this one. Yeah, whoever said the, that this was good, you said you read mm -hmm. some reviews. Mm -hmm. um, I agree. It's damn good. Yeah. Because, you know, and, that, and that's the thing, because, you know, you get it you get it right off the top. Like I said, we did just open it, so it could be, you know, some of the ethanol right off the top. Sure, it hasn't opened But it kind of, it, it does linger a little bit. It's not oh. like it's just there and it's gone. No, the flavor so, is still staying, like, right, right here for me. I'm, right. I'm getting it in the back of my yeah. back of my mouth. I mean, it's yeah. um, it's lingering, but in a good way. You yeah. know what I mean? So, no, and, it's, and it's smooth on the end. It's it has very that, smooth. On, at the very end, you know, like, that's the thing. It's not, it's very smooth. It, it yeah. tastes tastes good. It's, um... I'm impressed. Yeah, yeah, this is this is totally different than the, well, we're gonna talk about, let's go ahead and get in there. Let's go and get into the 10 year, Brandon. And again, we, we popped this a open a while Should've ago. left a little bit more. Well, you can always yeah. pour a little bit more, so. All right, guys, same thing, 10 year, um, limited release. Um, the proof on this is, is 97, so right. that could be what we're missing here. Is yeah. this one's a little bit more watered down, maybe. Uh, maybe that was the issue we had with it before. And again, it wasn't terrible. We're not trying to make it out like it was. Uh, it wasn't good. It, it was good, but you know, was it, it was a little. I, you're right, I was gonna say it was a little no. disappointing, though. You it's know, I mean, not. from kind Big of getting, time. you know, what you were, what we were hoping we were gonna get and, out of it. And someone trying to charge Brandon uh, eighty, yeah. Yeah, 80 yeah, dollars a, a, a shot board. of this at a, at a at a Braves game. <laughs> yeah. And we were expecting high things after that. Yeah, yeah I was like, okay, well, open, maybe, yeah. <laughs> maybe, maybe it's that good. But uh, after we popped it open, uh, yeah, see, on this one, I'm not getting the sweetness. I'm, I'm definitely getting the no. ethanol. Right, you get the ethanol. But yeah, it's not that sweet. No, not like that one. And, and again, this no, could be because this is watered down a little bit, right. you know, compared to the 107 proof. Um, yeah, it's crazy. It's especially now, you know, now that this has been out and been breathing, yeah. you know, for a few minutes. Now you go back to this one, you smell this one compared to that. This one's just all sweet. Oh yeah. You know? Big time. I'm telling <laughs> it's, you, it's like it's like molasses, this yeah. one. It's so good. All right, let's get him his ten year man. Mm. Yeah, see? It's good. But I'm getting the sharpness. Right, it's sharp. Of like, of that corn. Right. Without the sweetness to back right, right, it up with. Right. Like this one's got. Right. So it's yeah, so this one. Like you said at the t at the beginning, you get the you get that ethanol. You taste you know a little bit of the whatever you know heat. It's not like I said, it's not very hot. No, no. But you get that right off the top, and it's sharp. And then whereas this one smooths out at the end and lingers. That right. good flavor just right. lingers. You don't get that. Lingers. Yeah, this this one just kind of ends. It's it, just yeah. like gone. It's it's unreal. Yeah, and I I wonder. I mean, two years could it make that big a difference? I mean, I don't know, but mm. I think the watered down fact of it, the fact that this is a lighter proof maybe is the reason why we're getting that sharpness and not the flavor. Yeah, you're right. It's 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 just it's sharp and then it just doesn't hang on. It really doesn't. You know? It just it's not it's not yeah, delivering. It's... Now now go back to this. You have <laughs> you have some left? Yeah. yeah. Now go back to <laughs> He said just the smell it's is unreal. Oh yeah, it's just sweet. Like I said, to me, the crazy little... part, this is, this almost drinks a little bit hotter. Right, because, well, this one, to me, so the, uh, so the 10 year, I feel like it's hotter at the start. Right. Right? This one isn't, yeah, it's it's like in the, in the middle you get it, right? Mm -hmm. You yeah, still, you you still get it a little bit, but it's not, it because of that sharpness, whatever, on this, I, maybe, I guess it's just the sweetness kind of evens it out. Right? It does. It does. I think the flavor counters the yeah the the extra alcohol yeah the, the extra proof. But like like you said, uh, this one the twelve year does kind of give you that hug mm -hmm. a little bit. It kind of mm -hmm. as it's going down, I can feel it. Right. But like you said, on the ten year, you feel it right away. Yeah. And then it's gone. And then it's gone. Yeah. And then there's really no flavor after yeah. that to kind of um yeah. I mean, the flavor to this on on this one honestly is not even there at all for me honestly on the ten year. I just get the heat. Yeah. But the 12 year, the flavor just. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, it's. Um... Now, again, guys, in our area, the, the 10 I, I paid 124. The 12 year was 150. 
And again, that's high for, you know, um, right. bourbon. I don't typically like to spend that kind of money on it, but I just wanted to kind of get it and try it out because everybody was talking about it. And and, um, and I got to say that 12 year lives up to it. Yeah. Now, yeah. Would I go back and pay 150 for it again? I don't know. Probably. Yeah. I probably would for the for the 150 at for the 12 year. For the 12. Would, for yeah. the 12. But yeah. this 120, hell no. Mm -mm. This is more like a 60, 65 mm -hmm. dollar bottle, guys. Yeah, I was um, gonna say 50, 60. Yeah, something yeah. Like that. Sure as hell not 80 dollars a pour. That you know no. the, the Brave Stadium was trying to <laughs> was trying to gouge out of you. But um, yeah, guys, if you get a chance to get that 12 year, um, and again that's batch one, so you know we'll see. But uh, I, I really enjoy that 12 year. That 12 year is, is special. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's, definitely. it's dangerously good. Yeah, I mean, that, that's one of those, like you said, it's almost like that perfect, it's in that perfect range in terms of heat. Yes. And so, and then with that sweetness on it, yeah, yeah it may, yeah, like you said, it's almost dangerous. It's dangerous, yeah, <laughs> you could just sit there and sip on this one and not even know it. Yeah. Mm. Man, that's good. Yeah. Well, guys, appreciate you watching. I uh, hope that helped you out a little bit when you guys are trying to decide if you're lucky enough to be able to yeah. Grab one of these. And which are like with that one, I would say, if you if you want to try it before you buy it, see if you can find someone that has it. Try yeah, it for sure. And, and don't pay crazy money for no, it. No, right, right, right. No, no, yeah, no, no. yeah. Don't not eighty dollars a pour for sure. Hell no. Um, but yeah, you know. So if you can do that, if you can try check, you know, try that one out before you actually have to go buy it. I would do that mm -hmm. because to me, you may be a little bit disappointed. That's but in a restaurant, I I'd honestly pay over twenty bucks for that yeah. uh, a pour. You know. 20 to 25 would be my range on that one. Now that I know how good it is, um, if it's a legit uh, 12 year, because right. you got to be careful. Some of these restaurants, man, I just, I have a tough time paying top dollar for, uh, you know, allocated stuff. And, right. and, and, well, because you, yeah, you don't, you know, deal, right, you know exactly. I mean? Are like, they just, are they I'm refilling? accusing anybody of anything, <laughs> you know. Shady stuff has been known to happen, you know. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, but uh, yeah, guys, uh, appreciate you watching. Hopefully that helped out. 